Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I am sharing the best AMD Radeon settings to boost FPS for the gaming. So we will be optimizing AMD to increase FPS and reduce the lag. So on your Windows PC, just make a right click on the desktop and choose AMD software. And once it is up, you will see all the information here. Like in my case, I have AMD Ryzen 7 5700G with Radeon graphics, which is 8 core and RAM is 16 gigabytes. So this is the best setting for me because I applied this and I have been using with Valorant and CSGO and it works absolutely fine. I had no problem. So what you have to do, you just need to come here on the graphics tab. If you do not see in the first option, then you can click on the settings icon here on the right hand top and this page will be coming up. Just click on graphics and now you will see few default option here by uh, default. We are in the custom, but if you want to change uh, the settings without doing anything, then you can simply click on gaming. And as soon as you click on it, that setting will be automatically changed. You can check that settings and see if that work for you. If it doesn't work for you, then you can come back, click on custom again. And here in the first setting, you will find Radeon anti lag. So you have to enable this option because this will be reducing the input lag. This is a very important setting. The next Radeon chill, you just need to disable it. Radeon boost, it won't be working if you have already enabled the anti lag. Okay. In some cases, it may enable, but most of the uh, AMD setting it won't allow. So you can just leave this disable. So it's basically optional. You can either disable Radeon boost or you can go with anti lag. So I would say that go with anti-lag, enable it and Radeon chill and Radeon boost. You can just disable this. Now it comes to Radeon image sharpening, which enhances your visual graphics and details. So you can enable this option and the sharpness level you can keep to 70%. Okay, that is the least. You can also take it to 80 or 90, but I try going with 70% first. Now scroll down and you will see Radeon enhance sync. You need to enable this option. Then click on advanced and now it says frame rate target control you need to disable this anti-aliasing this will be to use application settings anti-aliasing method it's, this will be to multi sampling but if you have the good processor more good processor and high end pc then you can also go with adaptive multi sampling or super sampling okay but make sure that this is not for the lower end pc for the lower end pc you can go with multi sampling okay now morphological anti-aliasing you can keep this disabled uh, and isotrophic filtering you can keep this disabled texture filtering quality you have to keep it to performance click on the drop down and from the list choose performance surface format optimization you can go with enabled and then in the tessellation mode you can keep this overall override application settings and the level you can choose to 2x now scroll down a bit OpenGL triple buffering you can keep this enabled so this was all the graphic settings now once you come to the display tab and now in you you can on the first you will see AMD free sync so in my case it's not supported but if on your end it says supported then you can enable this option this really work fine uh, once you are all done with this simply close it now restart your PC and enjoy the game and i'm very sure that you will be having a great change you will increase it will increase the fps now to increase more fps and performance you also need to do some kind of window settings for which i have already created a video the link will be in the description you can just watch it and apply those settings as well so that's all guys hopefully this will help you and if yes make sure that please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video Bye bye